Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's surviving better than I am. <laughs> Deep in the throes of my wedding season, how much do you want to know? How much do you have time for? I just got back from working a little bit on the East Coast, working a little bit in Chicago, about to head to Riverside and San Francisco, and then, you know, a lot more things after that because it's wedding season. But I wanted to do a follow-up video. I had done a video last month about all the different tools I used as a wedding photographer. From payroll to blogging to uh, taxes, I don't know. You should go watch it. Apparently I should go watch it too because I can't remember what I spoke about. One of those tools is PickTime and I wanted to do a follow-up video because when I was making the video I realized I had like a million more things to talk about. It's a wonderful gallery system. Uh, 2021 was my first gallery in March with them. So I've been using them quite a while and I've loved them all the while. Aww. Let's dive into it, shall we? First of all, one of the things I noticed right away, it's a huge game changer as far as the way that it looks and feels. Everything's super organized. Not only how it looks on the back end, how just lovely it looks on the client facing side of this. It's really important for me as a photographer to make sure that the gallery system properly represents the art that I'm creating for my client, couple, brand, company, whatever. I always feel so confident sending that little send button because the display of this is just so pleasing. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this as far as pictures. You can pop in and see one a little bigger if you want. When I send them their gallery for the first time, I know that's gonna be a really impressive experience for them to look at their photos. That is important to me. Other current things that are important to me are sleep and caffeine. Let's go into a gallery, just so I can kind of show you around. I love this one. This is like working living dashboard of a gallery. I'm not gonna that one up start to finish, but I will take you through and show you a few things here. So this gallery is online. I can see like all the activity of this and see all the users, people that were invited by the client, main clients, how many times they use things, purchases from the shop, things like that. Very, very cool. Name and cover. So this is when I originally set up the gallery. I thought this was the best photo. I, I stand by that. I like this photo a lot. Uh, you can do tons of customization here. I picked this photo and this color was the chosen color based on what the photo is giving us. I happen to agree. I love it. The date, you could change it to like their actual wedding date. I The gallery dates just defaulted at when the gallery was created. Um, I can change the language. So I do have some couples that don't speak English as their first language. I can put in any of these good old languages. Photos and media, this is where it gets more exciting. New featured videos, a uh, slideshow. This is the back end of what all the pictures look like. Their wedding photos were dropped in there. It's a long, lovely day. I have all of their film. So all of their analog film is uploaded into there. Then I also, as you see, have room to title other things if I want. If I wanted to get more specific, like first look or getting ready or ceremony or couples portraits or wedding party pictures or family pictures, it's literally you can do whatever you would like with it. I I just kind of keep it basic. That's the great thing about PickTime is you can truly customize any part of this software to better suit your brand, your workflow, or you could just do the bare minimum and it still looks pretty freaking cool. So I have all of those pictures there. There's toggles to move it around. So once the wedding pictures were delivered, then the sneak peek went down to the bottom. So this, this is where the photos live 
on the back end. Gallery setup, there's, you know, this was a wedding. I just keep it normal for probably 98% of my weddings, uh, normal security po policies. I can do a private gallery where they can only see the images with a password. Also expire the gallery. It's a great way to make a little kickback. They want to keep hosting online. I just charge them $75. That goes right to me. PickTime is really optimized for SEO and SEO friendly options here. You can opt out of the AI search, which we'll get to in a moment. For the sake of my couples, the photo downloads allow free high resolution downloads for only the main couple. Uh, for this one I did, everybody can download the smaller web size images. Those are not a printable size images, but if they want to share on the web. Every wedding I do is a little bit different. Usually I'm only giving my couple access to downloading at all. And she said watermark, uh, my images are without watermark. When they purchase a package from me, they get their images watermark free. You can also choose to put music on there. And then of course I have my online store. I'm not gonna get into the store stuff. I think a lot of people do that really well. I do keep a store on here. I do try to update the pricing because it does change with production costs and now tariff things. It is smart to go in there and check pricing, donations and discounts. Early bird is something I turn on once their wedding pictures have been delivered. This couple wrote a nice review for me, and so I gave them a $50 coupon. Uh, I did turn this on for a sale last year, and you can see how much I made off of the sale. Uh, pretty nice. Vendors. This couple, I actually don't think the vendor registration app was ready to go for this, so I'll wait and save this later, but we're going to come back to this because this is my... Currently my favorite feature of PickTime. Workflow, this is very handy. I can send this link to whoever I would like. I can also use the AI tools and features. User favorites, this is a super fun feature. Anybody that registered on the gallery, I can see which photos they really liked. I feel like I'm talking so fast, but literally there's like so much to talk about. And then I can also see the downloads of how many people have downloaded images, client selections. This can be really helpful if I'm creating a, a guest book or an album for them. I can do, uh, say they want to do a album. I can request a hundred images. You can literally, you saw me write it and you can write anything you would like. I can also add a selection. Maybe I can do, do like um, main images and that's, maybe I want 10. Then I'm going to send it to them. Just be like, hello, so excited to work on your album. Please pick your favorites so I can include them in the book. Goodness, please don't judge me. It's a lot. Thank you. Terry. And then I can send that email or I can schedule it to send at another time. So that's kind of the interworkings of the gallery. Let's see what the gallery actually looks like. Previewing this gallery, you can see the lovely header image. It's really good. And I can see my different tabs here, their film, the sneak peek, and the store itself. You will see hearts on here because I'm looking at it from my profile. So I see you know, here we have like four hearts. So that means four different people have hearted this image. Hopefully it's framed in their house at that point. <laughs> that one too. There's a, there's a lot of favorites in here, but I get to see all of what their images look like. These are all their wedding photos. I must say they're very good. Very, very enchanting little day. I had so much fun with them. So I can see that. I can see their film images. It scrolls very easily to that. These are also great. I just love the, the format that this is in too. It's lovely. Hold on, which one was my very favorite one? Oh gosh, can you even? What a dream. And so when the couple's looking at this, they can send it, they can Facebook it, they can heart it, they can download it, they can buy it. Uh, they already own it, but if, you know, if they wanted to buy a print or a picture. So we have all of that. I told you I was going to get to it the find your favorite moments feature of pick time. This is probably the one I get compliments on the most where they're like, oh wow, that, that feature really works. It's really good. 
I'm like, I know I created it. Actually, I didn't pick time did. So you have these cute little icons of all there's a bunch of people at this wedding. So let's search now just for funsies. Let's do the bride. This was her maid of honor. Let's apply that. And so now I have a couple options here at the top. So at least one is shown. So this means it's going to show me every image with the bride and her maid of honor separately or together. I can also make it where they're together. So let's do that. I have 50 photos of the bride and her maid of honor. That's, that's pretty good. And look at like, I, I'm so impressed by this. Like this is a analog image. Homegirl's pretty blurry in the background there. And it still recognizes that it's her. Pretty cool. So yeah, we get to see all of the images where she was speaking. Again, she's blurry and it still picked it up. She's moving, she's around, hugging on the stairs for some of her portraits, on the dance floor, everything that um, Maid of Honor and Bride were in together on their wedding day. And at the top here, I can download these images. I can purchase in, like products with these images and I can share the images. So I could actually take this and email this link. If I was the bride, I could email it to my maid of honor so that she could actually see all of the pictures with just the maid of honor and her in it. Who else is doing that? Literally no one. I did test this out in my own wedding gallery. I put in some of my film photos from my wedding day. Here we go. And I wanted to just test out how the AI feature did with my face so you can search now but you can also take a photo of yourself for some reason if somebody wasn't recognized in there you could do this so I'm clearly my face is there but I wanted to try this so let's allow that let's take a picture of my face really an inspiring portrait that is we're good and then oh I think I just think that's a really, really clever way to use AI and to incorporate it into your galleries. It looks very impressive on my end when I'm giving the galleries to my couple and it's really helpful for my couples too. My second most favorite feature on here, I will go to the gallery that I just did this weekend. You can go in here, literally promise I was going to talk about it. Did you think I was just going to skip it? Vendors. Basically, once the wedding sneak peeks are up, I go in and get a vendor registration link, copy it. I basically take this vendor registration link, use the you know last email from the planner typically with all of the vendor emails, go in and say, thank you so much. It was so nice to work together. What a lovely weekend. If you are interested in images, I have some sneak peek photos up please use this link to register your company and I will send you photos. So I send that and then I actually get a notification when vendors have used the link to register, which is great. I get notification and then I go in and the vendors register themselves. They write in their, I'll edit, but these are things that the vendor has put in themselves, their business name, their contact person. When you're sharing photos as a photographer, you never really know where they're going to go or end up, how they're going to be used, if they're going to credit you or not. PickTime creates a vendor terms and agreement, and the vendor has to sign that before they're able to download images. It's literally the, the most thoughtful, brilliant, wonderful thing of all time ever, probably. The vendors do all the hard work for you, so they go and register. All I have to do is go in and pick which photos I want to give to them. I can filter and search by like gallery. Like I didn't want to include any of the engagement photos and those are film photos from their engagement session. I didn't obviously want to include those, but I wanted to give her photos from the wedding day, which I did. You can really choose from a whole bunch of different options. And then, you know, for vendors too, I'm just going to go ahead and add in all of these. Great. And from the Hindu ceremony as well. So it is uh, fairly accurate. I do feel like that's one thing 
that the AI part of this whole system is lacking happened not too long ago where the vendor was the cake decorator. It gave some pretty random photos that were not pertinent to cake or the dessert. So it's still a little imperfect. I like to do it just manually to make sure, especially if it's an important vendor or a vendor where I really don't want to give them that many photos. Maybe I just want to give them photos specific to what they did. Maybe they were mean to me and I don't want to give them any photos. It also has a copy credits for an Instagram post. Can copy it and uh, go my merry little way. I do have those bigger days where it's just a ton of vendors that could be really helpful to use. The vendor feature and the favorite moment AI feature within the galleries are my two like favorite features of PickTime. I think they're tremendously helpful. I think they're really cool, very impressive to use, very helpful in my workflow. This was sort of the overview of PickTime, how I use it, how I enjoy it. If there's something within PickTime that you use and find to be really helpful, please write that in the comments below. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, see you on the next one. If I survive wedding season, I will. Bye. This video is sponsored by PickTime. I am so excited to share about some of the features that it does, but mainly features that I use and things that I utilize very much to help my own workflow as a wedding photographer.